Hi, this video is for elementary school teachers to show them how to get to the elementary school report cards now that we've gone to the new version of Moodle. Now I'm using Mrs. Hoblet's class uh, and I've changed some names of some students in this class so I'm not going to show the whole course because I've only changed a couple names uh, but just so you know these are not the actual names of any students in the class. So to get to them, um, as I'm in the course, if I look down in the administration block down the left hand side, one of the option says reports and if I click on reports I can see the third thing down uh, says NTLS reports I'm gonna go ahead and click on NTLS reports and it brings us to this screen now um, all the reports that I programmed this summer together so you can see the high school and the middle school are first all your grade card reports are right down here at the bottom just like before you can pick a um, all your participants in your class you can pick one specific group or you could sp pick a specific student individual uh, if you wanted to print that out for a parent-teacher conference. So I'm going to go to the group I made that has changed names. Uh, if I go down and click a person's name, it went away, but now when I click on the first grade report cards, all I have is Braden Jones report card, fictitious name. Uh, and it's going to print out just like it did before if you're using Firefox and, um, I'm sorry, and we go to print preview. Um, you're going to see that it's going to automatically page break for you. It's not going to put anything around the outside now. I changed that in the code. Um, and again, you have to use Firefox in order to get this to print out right. And if I do hit Control P and Firefox is just going to bring up this, I can just pick the closest printer to me. And to go back, I just hit Return to Moodle. Uh, depending on what grade you pick is just going to depend on your grade card that comes out. Um, so if I did the same thing and I hit specials, I would get his specials report card. Uh, oh, and I still have the whole group, so I've got both of the people in that group's specials report card. I do remind you that if you're doing um, these report cards, they are, these are two-sided, so make sure you pick two-sided in Firefox before or on your printer before sending it. The last report beside the grade cards is the class indicator progress, which is a little bit new, and I can't show that because it would bring up well, maybe we'll see. No, nope, it did. It just brought up the names that I changed. So uh, if you brought this report up, it would show all of the different um, grade areas um, broken down with all your students with all the um, indicators for that quarter. If you wanted to switch to another quarter, you just say, I want to look at the fourth quarter indicators. And each of these would have all the children in your class. and um, all of them are broken up by um, indicator, so if I hit landscape, which is what these are set up to do, you'd see that all the language art ones would be together, and these would be broken up to uh, on the subsequent pages as well. So that's the only other new report, and that was intended so you can track those a little bit uh, better and have a printout of all your students at one time. But that's it. Again, all you have to do is go to Reports and pick NTLS Reports, and you'll come right there and you just pick your grade and make sure you print it out two-sided. And that's it for getting to the grade cards on the new version of Moodle.